My child, I am your God, the one who fills your life with infinite grace and endless mercy. When you find yourself in the depths of despair, I am the hand that reaches out to lift you up. In times of pain, I am your comfort, your refuge, your unshakable strength. Just like an eagle, I strengthen you, and my eternal word soothes the wounds of your heart. I will open the doors to a supernatural kingdom, where you have the power to step on snakes and scorpions, and nothing, absolutely nothing, can hurt you. These words that I send you today are a bomb of peace, a beacon of hope, dispelling your doubts and filling your spirit with tranquility. I am your vigilant guardian, watching over your own soul, especially in these times when the challenges of the world besiege you daily. Temptations lurk, and enemies seek to undermine you from all sides. There are times when you feel lost, not knowing who to trust. Friends can become enemies, and even your own family can turn away when you need it most. But I am here, always here. My love for you grows with each passing day. You should not anchor all your hopes in fallible human beings or ephemeral material possessions. Today, I come to reaffirm my eternal commitment to you. As you walk through this world, I am at your side, bearing your burdens, forgiving your transgressions, and pouring out my Holy Spirit upon you. Anyone who dares to harm you will face defeat, and those who lead you astray will be held accountable. Many may try to bring you down, cast a shadow of shame over you, driven by the poison of envy in their hearts. But listen to this. No one can tear you away from my embrace. Lean on me. Trust the promises I wrote for you. Receive these words as a herald of my unfathomable mercy. Open your ears and allow my divine breath to transform your thoughts. You have many years ahead of you, many important missions to accomplish. There is a sacred and wonderful purpose that calls you. But your sustenance and strength do not reside in this world or in the people around you. If you seek deep and lasting blessings, if you long for a transformative life for you and your family, then look no further. I'm your only option. You're on the right path. Keep moving forward. Love me with unwavering devotion. Let me take the main place in your heart. I want to be your priority, and I ask for no more than a few moments each day. You were chosen and accepted through my sacrifice and resurrection. I know you are not without flaws, but I have covered you with my grace. You are not a miserable sinner wallowing in the mire of iniquity. Turn to my word when you need guidance. Consult your Bible when you need wisdom. Seek counsel from my servants who guide you, for I will speak to you in many ways. Be attentive, and you will find success. You know I never promised an effortless existence, but responsibilities and trials will always be part of life. However, there is a marked difference when someone like you places unwavering trust in me. I breathe life and joy into your soul. I grant you a crown of victory. I saw you adorned in white robes. I give you the authority, ability, and courage to overcome a thousand obstacles, cross a thousand borders, travel to distant lands, and display my miracles. I enable you to remain steadfast, a beacon of unbreakable faith, like a rock that stands firm, an example to those who waver, those who cling to the past and underestimate the deep blessings I am showering upon them. My delight is to clear your path, open doors, hear your prayers, provide answers, strengthen you, and guide you through the storms of life. I want you to grow, to have the humility to learn from adversity when it knocks on your door. If you open your heart to me, I will reveal a new path imbued with my glory, where the impossible becomes possible. People are transformed, hardened hearts are softened, and the source of your provision flows abundantly. Debts dissipate, sadness flees, and joy envelopes you in its warm embrace. My love and mercy will accompany you forever, even when you cannot perceive my presence. I'm intertwined with your life, witness to every tear that moistens your cheeks and every smile that lights up your face. In your darkest moments, 
I am your guiding light. In times of fragility, I am your strength. In moments of confusion, I am your unshakable guide. Trust me, you have been looking for a message that moves your heart. I need to talk to you about what you keep in your deepest recesses, the secrets you believe no one else can see. But don't worry, we both know. If you feel like this message is not just for you, and you have the name of someone who needs to hear these words, then extend them to them. Act now. Be a savior of souls. I bless those who serve me with unwavering dedication, those who are not ashamed to share these words. You and I need to talk. That's why I insist. Every time you wake up from your sleep, compel your thoughts not to stray into distractions or drown in worries. Each day, your first act should be an expression of gratitude for your family, your life, for still having time and a soul in need of restoration. I love you deeply and have been merciful for an eternity. I have not punished you according to your faults, nor have I abandoned you because of past transgressions. Thou shalt not kill. You shall not bear false witness. You will not lie. Thou shalt not defame. You will not look down on another nor should you constantly dwell in betrayal. There are countless facets we could explore, none more significant than the other. Each sin carries its own heavy consequences. Adultery and fornication can destroy your body and life. However, slander and falsehood, pride and discrimination also sow discord. They can destroy families. If these words resonate deeply in your soul, and you feel that my Holy Spirit is speaking to you today, then you must try twice as hard to seek me daily, to receive my word and heed it. Do this without delay. I'm always close to you. Seeking me means approaching me in faith, trusting that I will respond and patiently awaiting the blessings that I will bestow upon you in my perfect timing. Come into my presence today and find someone you trust to whom you can vent. Your shackles will be broken, your remorse and anguish left behind. From today onwards, nothing will stop the blessings and the future of goodness and peace that I have prepared for you. Today, you confirmed your love for me. There is someone in your life who also longs for these words. Hold them out, I love you with all the depths of my heart. Good morning. Thank you for heeding these words as they bring you comfort. Listen to them one more time, letter by letter. You will feel my presence at your side, caressing your heart and calming your troubled soul. You are never alone, and as long as you remain with me, no harm will come to you. Stay still, close your eyes, don't shed any more tears, so that you don't run out of breath. Every time you falter, you say so much. Your tears lay bare your needs, but my voice heals and comforts relieving your turmoil. My cloak dries your tears and wraps you in serenity. It's not time for your departure yet. It stays a little longer. I wish that your soul leaves this place strengthened, without fear of facing the world, to walk with unshakable confidence through the valleys of shadows and through arid deserts. Feel enveloped, protected day and night by my eternal love. Embrace him, believe in him. My Holy Spirit surrounds you with affection and wards off danger. Feel it, embrace it, believe in it. My Spirit will fill you with zeal, flood your thoughts with divine peace, fill your lips with laughter, endow you with new visions, and present you with dreams that will foretell many things to come. Immerse yourself in my word. Come listen daily. Open your Bible and feed your spirit with its wisdom. Do not pay attention to those who surprise you with what appear to be great revelations, seeking to dictate your life with false prophecies or manipulate your will with threats. If doubt assails you, my Holy Spirit will come to your aid once again, offering comfort at any time. He will open your eyes and whisper in your ear that your Heavenly Father protects you and no adversary can prevail against you. Say it out loud, declare, my heavenly Father is with me. No enemy has dominion over me. Guard your tongue. Do not speak ill of others. Do not spread slander or falsehoods. Do not harm those who are loyal to you, nor lie to those who beg your trust. 
If you have already wavered in this sense, come before me. I forgive your faults, I purify your heart. Seek me in prayer every morning. I long to relieve your soul of guilt and remorse. I offered my life on the cross and rose again, so that you could be free from all mental and spiritual suffering. You are human, and in this world, your body, your soul, and your mind can get tired. Even my devoted servants who lived holy lives felt fatigue and made mistakes. They acknowledged their sins with humility, returned to this altar of forgiveness, and rose to face the challenges without wavering. Come to me now if you are tired, if you believe you have faltered, if your words have exceeded their limits, if you have hurt a loved one without thinking, or if you find yourself trapped in a harmful physical or mental habit. If you really love me and believe that I am here to help you, then come to me. I touch your lips, cleanse your heart, and forgive you. Do not return to the same transgressions. I am renewing your spirit and your determination. You will rise like a champion, free from the weight of guilt and moments of sadness. If you need to remember something, reflect on moments of joy, on your past achievements. Just as you showed faith and triumphed before, you will do so again with the warm embrace I offer you. I urge you to face life with unshakable faith and unbreakable determination. I'm with you. I love you, my champion. You will need patience in the face of everything that happens in your life. You need to stay true to yourself. Remember, I am at your side, ready to honor your faith. Everything that is happening now has a purpose, even if the reasons escape you at this moment. When all is said and done and you reap the blessings I have prepared, you will understand why it was vital to believe, trust, exercise patience, and wait. You have received much because you stood firm and much more is on the way. I know how you feel. I know your heart intimately and there is nothing you can hide from me, even if you tried. You know that you can come to me without hesitation at any time, at any time. You can trust your situation your feelings, as I am always attentive to your emotions and your needs. It has always been like that. How could you think you were insignificant to me when I saved you and gave you a new life? You know that love and understanding are scarce commodities in this world. But here with me you have all this and more to quench your thirst for peace, fill your days with my love and warm your heart with the potent emotion born of the knowledge that you are loved beyond measure. Because I love you, and that love has been unshakable even in your moments of doubt and adversity. My love for you has never weakened. I loved you, I love you, and I will continue to love you. Stop trusting those who betray you, giving affection to those who don't appreciate it, and prioritizing those who caused your tears. They are not worthy. Do not put those who inflicted pain on you ahead of your existence, no matter what happens because you know very well that I will not allow your fall or your misfortune. Choose your companions wisely and do not listen to those who seek to discourage you, who would try to steal your faith. You will not remain in this difficult season forever. I will arrive at the perfect time to set you free. I know that your spirit is tired, that sometimes these trials shake your faith, but remain firm, remain resolute. Soon I will reaffirm your steps on the path you must follow, the path that will lead you to my blessings. I know waiting is challenging, and sometimes it can seem endless with countless reasons to give up hope, but I beg you to persevere. The situation you face today is the crucible that forges your inner strength, and no one will steal the imminent blessings, the gifts that I grant you today. You affirmed your love for me. There is someone in your life who longs for these words too. Extend them. I love you with all the depths of my heart. Good morning. I thank you for listening to these words as they bring you peace. Listen to them one more time, letter by letter. You will feel my presence at your side, caressing your heart and calming your troubled soul, my beloved. In the depths of your heart, know that I claim the main place. Grant it to me willingly Recognize and honor me with the reverence I deserve in your life. Understand that I must be your God, your Lord, your King, and no one else. 
have you allowed another to occupy my rightful throne? That, my dear, may be one of the reasons behind your recent turmoil, those lingering feelings that defy explanation. Allow me to illuminate your inner turmoil. There is an emptiness in your heart, and it will widen if you continue to reject my love. That's why you feel melancholy, why you wake up at night with tears staining your cheeks. You long to be loved, but you look for it in the wrong places. Know this, no one in this world can love you as deeply as I do. Come to me, and I will grant you peace, love, and rest. What are you waiting for? Would you rather persist in giving your life and affection to those who cause you so much suffering? Will you endure the pain one more time before returning to me in tears? Even so, I will welcome you, because my love transcends your mistakes and bad decisions. But you don't need to wait for suffering to approach before seeking my embrace. You can come to me now. I will hold you tenderly, showing my love. Come today. I'm waiting for you with open arms. Don't despair. Today I am here to help you, even before you make a request for help. My ears were open long before his lips opened to plead with me. Remember, I love you and want to rescue you from the trials you face. I am truly pleased with your courageous stance in the face of adversity. I implore you to keep believing, keep trusting that you have a real, faithful, powerful God on your side. Please avoid those who mock you, who speak words that steal your joy. They are not your friends, but individuals who have abandoned the faith and envy your fate. They know you are deeply loved and blessed, even if they can't accept it. Don't waste time trying to convince them or begging for their approval. I will open your path from those who harm you and bring people who truly love you into your life. Drive away despair. Do not entertain worries in your mind. Do not allow thoughts that steal your peace to settle in your soul. Refuse anything negative to enter your spirit. Protect your mind with the helmet of faith your heart with the breastplate of righteousness and wield the sword of my holy word in your hands. Prepare for a battle in which victory will be yours. You will not be defeated, and even if you falter and fall at some point, know that I will lift you up once again. Accept the challenge. Don't allow your future to be enslaved by anxiety. Get ready to fight with all your strength against discouragement and fear. Tell me that you believe in me, and that you are prepared to triumph. I will bless your home. I will heal your body, your soul, your emotions, and your family situation. You will witness with your own eyes my supernatural power. Listen carefully. I love you, and I want you to believe that simply and sincerely. I also ask that you come to me every morning, nourishing yourself with my word. May your faith be lit and May this flame consume all the fears that impede your progress. You cannot enter your promised land if you still fear the false giants who terrorize you with lies. You cannot reap the fruits of victory if you do not dare to take a step of faith and entrust all your abilities, struggles, and failures in my hands. During, at this stage of your life, you don't need to waste time doubting all the blessings I am about to bestow upon you. Remember that on that cross your enemies were shamed, and I bore the punishment for all your sins. Your debt has been paid. There are no more burdens for you to carry. You now sit beside me in the supernatural realm, and I have already blessed you with heavenly oil and honey. Know this. You are not a weak, insignificant being destined for failure, resigned to a life marked by emotions that rob you of your right to success. I speak of true and genuine triumph, freedom from debt, healed finances, forgiveness and harmony in your home. I speak of wisdom and prudence in your soul and mind, a supernatural peace that allows you to move forward. Why continue your journey always depending on what others say? I order you to no longer be a slave to the opinions of negative people who envy you and look for opportunities to steal what I want to give you. Believe me and my word. Stay away from those who wish you harm. For it is in my presence that victory resides, and in my presence you will find triumph. I will grant you strength, joy, and peace every morning. 
I am here waiting to whisper tender words of love and affection in your ear, filling you with great strength and happiness. I am blessing your life and your home. Believe, receive, and love me more every day. Come, my son, for today is a new day, a day in which you will receive great blessings. And never forget that I am your shepherd, and you will lack nothing. I am your provider. Everything that is missing in your life will arrive soon. I am your healer. I surround you with my love and grant you healing. I am your protector. I will cover you with my wings, and under the shadow of my shelter you will be safe. My word is true. My promises are certain. Everything I told you will come to pass, for I am God and I do not lie. I will do as I said. I will walk with you hand in hand on the path I chose for you in all seasons, in all circumstances. I am with you no matter how scary the situation may seem, even when you believe a miracle is impossible. Put your trust in me with all your heart, entrust your plans to me every day. Make me the first in your projects. I will always be with you, helping you. I showed my love to you even in your darkest days, when you believed your sins took you away from me, when everyone else abandoned you, when some criticized you, hurt you, belittled you, and spoke words of failure about you. I approached you with understanding, grace, love, forgiveness, and tenderness. Once again, I raised you from the abyss of despair. So don't doubt, don't waver. Say with your lips that you will trust me no matter what. Whatever happens, you will be victorious in all your ways forever. I love you. If I didn't abandon you yesterday, I won't abandon you today. I have always been with you in your good days and your bad, in times of joy and sadness. I never abandoned you. I never forgot you. Stay strong. And if you feel your faith wavering, speak out loud the promises I have given you. Announce to those who bother you that I am with you every day until the end. You depend on me. Look at my grace. Don't focus on doubts about whether you deserve the blessings you seek. If you believe in me, accept this blessing I offer you. When it rests in your hands, it will multiply into great gifts. You will finally have everything you need to bless your family and share with those in need. Abundance of bread, health, strength, and peace will be yours. But you must use your faith and come and receive these blessings. No more doubt, no more retreat, no more hiding from my presence in the darkness. I speak to you because I want you to come, and I want to answer your prayer. Remove every curse and disease from you and your family. I'm not looking to take anything away. For a better earth and a brighter future, encourage your children to pursue education. Inspire them to dream big as they too can serve me in many ways with their talents and intelligence in their own home. Heroes and leaders of tomorrow are growing. Before my second coming, they will be instruments of my word used mightily. However, this can only happen if you honor me in your home. If your behavior and character testify to your faith, never cling to a bad temper, thinking that this is who you are and that no one can change you. For with me, all things are possible. I can transform rocks and stones into tender hearts. Those who previously spoke only in shouts will laugh like children. I will light burning coals on your lips, and your words will be as sweet as honey. So I can change you, so that your family can see that my power is real. And even when the world attacks you because of your faith, even when they tell you that I do not exist and that I can do nothing for them, believe now that my glory will be manifested in your home. Your neighbors will see my glow at night, and angels will light up every corner of your home. People will be amazed at the supernatural and miraculous events that will occur in their home. Many will come, and you will lay your hands on them. In answer to your prayer, I myself will raise the sick, solve their problems, and heal their wounds. A spiritual revival is beginning in your family, heralding the last days, and many are eager to know the mysteries of my coming. Yet in their hearts they do not seek me. I will reveal my love only to those who believe in me with sincerity and integrity, who are not afraid to lay down their souls, carry my word, 
and give their lives for this message and for the good of others. This is the powerful message I am planting in you right now. Pay close attention to where you hear it and keep the day and hour in your heart. Stand straight and look at the horizon as far as your eyes can see. I will use your life to bring my glory to distant lands, foreign soils where you will hear languages you do not speak. But I will touch you, and my Holy Spirit will come through your family and through you. A spiritual revolution is beginning, and I have held your hand throughout your journey through the valleys of shadow. Fear not, for I am with you. Regardless of the conflicts your eyes see and the turmoil you currently face, have unwavering faith in my written word. For this year, you will be blessed, prospered, recognized, and respected if you act, fight, and do not waver in your faith in the one who gave his life for your victory. Even if you feel unworthy or believe you do not deserve such abundant blessings, cling to me, push away thoughts of condemnation, and accept my love and forgiveness. I chose you to be a blessing to your family. Clear your mind of thoughts of defeat as this is the time to triumph and elevate your life higher than ever before. Leave the old battles behind and enter a new phase of triumph and renewal. This is where I transform your life, where a new story begins for you. Allow me to guide you along a new path of blessings and wisdom. I grant you my love and peace so that your soul and mind may find tranquility. Amen.